Uh, apparently, everyone in here since the issuance of the documents coming from Austria has been lying. And uh, this is since March 23rd, 2000, May 23rd, 2018. Um, up until uh, September 16th, 2019, I had the Swedish card and I still have it. And prior to that, all legally issued passports coming to me between September 2017 up until April 2019 were blocked by individuals who have a high level of criminality to commit. Basically, there are individuals involved in the following, which is seizing passports and documents and sending illegal individuals, dangerous individuals, individuals with criminality into other nations. Uh, I've just went to Tunisia once just to talk to the Austrian embassy. Apparently people have some sort of problematic with an open call for application basically. And I made the call as uh, in April 2018, I only had my, only my Swedish ID which was valid. And I have all of these individuals making all of these nonsense. And basically, this has been the case so far. Apparently for the Austrians, or the someone who work at that company, they need basically to speak with someone at the German Chancellery to tell them to, well, yeah, just paperwork. And I did try in the past to go to Germany to do my internship for six months. And it has just been blocked. And apparently people decide where I should go, where I should study, while I hold another nationality. And they are not reprehended by the law. They are allowed to commit all sorts of atrocities and I go. And they refuse, they deliberately have my documents and they refuse to hand them out to me. For them, I have committed a crime. For them. Uh, yeah, it's like, a, it's like an impossible situation. Basically, low level IQ individuals just doing this, launching slurs, and they have like the whore. It's becoming, not the whore, not saying a whore, but like it's becoming an elderly woman with depression who have some sort of all the attacks against me. And I'm just finding out that I just have a Danske bank account. And uh, it's like, yes, I just don't wish for to be involved in any calculation of these individuals. I was just supposed to get my letters from the postal services. There's PostNord, and then there's DHL, and then there's UPS, and then there's FedEx, and then there is normal post. And I have all those individuals who have psychological problems who have inserted myself into my case and doing all sorts of things. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to get money to get my salaries and apparently what do they do? They steal the money and they don't work and they just, it's like it's a crazy situation. And I've already, uh, myself, because I speak French and I have uh, all the authority, I, as I did, by my name, to contact the French authorities and just to tell them it's time to speak to 100% of your personnel, your security effective, and 100% of your institutions and everyone who hold the French passport to keep their distance. There's the European Court of Human Rights, which is in Strasbourg, and Strasbourg is in France. And that's it. And apparently, why should we do this? Well, uh, it's, a, it's a good request with someone who, uh, well, I just, uh, with someone who is in the energy industry. 
that I did my best to keep it away, to send my talent to to send my work and my projects to Canada, to the United States, to Britain, but not to Britain, to Scotland, that's different. Probably Spain and Italy, and I have connection with those individuals, but there is the police officers, I don't know. The, the energy companies work in collaboration with the state and the, uh, the security services work for the state and I'm just going just to bypass them and to reach my destination and everyone is just sitting there basically I had I landed on August 3rd 2014 I slept, I woke up the next morning, I took the train and when taking the train I registered myself because I had to wake until the weekend so I went to collect my keys and then I stood outside of the, yes, uh, there was a lot of people who were doing that and prior to that I worked at the level of the uh, humanitarian work, I remember my work, I remember all my and what I did. I do my best to keep it well from individuals because there is a high potential that they will do something dangerous and dumb with that work. And now it's like, okay, spend my time in Sweden. Uh, basically, uh, I tried a lot of opportunities. There has been like a show of Nazism, and a show of a lot of other things and the best people to defend or to treat those uh, cases and those instances are the Austrian authorities without question basically and then because I remember the I remember the harsh circumstances and the difficult times that still existed between September 2017 until April 2018 I called, I go to the embassy I said that I had a work to share I said that I have this I went and I spoke with the Swiss embassy in Algiers I spoke with all of the individuals I asked for PhD I contacted Oxford University I contacted Harvard University, I contacted Massachusetts, I know it's my work, I know it's post postdoctoral research, and that post research are based on energy systems. There has been individuals who, ha who have as their own to commit intellectual property theft. And my work is like, I'm being truthful that the abstract of the work is not generated by me. Is generated by a professor at, at in New Jersey, and then I learned my skills from a s two Swedish professors that I mentioned, which are highly qualified, and they gave me their referee letter. So I sent two referee letters from Sweden. I and I added the original author of the ID, and I went with all of that to that location. And there are these individuals, at first I think they were trying to get into high level positions by exploiting me. And uh, that was in the six first months that I arrived. And that period of time, there has been a lot of documents, there have been a lot of papers, there have been a lot of things. There is the local energy company, I hope that they did not intervene into my work. You know what do they do? They don't hire me, they don't give me a contract, they don't give me a time frame, they don't give me a project to do. And it's not considered a crime or it's not a crime that is investigated by any individuals. And I tried and basically just to keep me in. They came my son, they raped my acquaintances, they kidnapped them probably, they kidnapped them probably. There was ca a case or two of more forced marriage and robbery amounted to people sending me contacts and people just committing robberies. And it's normal, it's not normal. And then between April 2018 
until August 2018. It was like, uh, oh my God. And I waited and I did this and I did that. And I waited outside, I waited there, I gave my number, I contacted, I spoke with the ambassador. And uh, when I say to the Austrian authorities, I will try to learn. Uh, I'm not good at speaking German at all. Writing maybe, with the grammatical errors. Ja pratar på svenska. Jag kan här en kort konversation. Jag har många människor här om är intrudig om mig om mig om mig bort i och jag kan resa till Österrike jag kan resa till Österrike jag kan resa till Um, yeah, I yeah, have my SG card, I yeah, have a lot of things, I did things legally, I obtained my paperwork, uh, legal documentation from that, and there has been like uh, individuals who were doing social decisions, and not, uh, not juridic and legal decisions, but like social decisions. And it's individuals like, uh, yeah, and uh, apparently from what I saw in Sweden, they should, uh, some those Scandinavian countries should give a time frame to individuals to live in their country, meaning giving them a time frame of five to six years. Uh, However, the, the amount of brutality has been uh, really, really great, and uh, and for the Austrian authorities, as I did with the French authorities and with the French palace, the Austrian authorities can do the same with the German authorities and the people in Berlin. Uh, I don't think uh, it will be an issue and when I submitted a plan it's a plan that literally affects the currency meaning in all of its form and they given all of that work to immature people people without experience people who never lived with the currency and people who are uh, very very unskilled to handle my work because when I say to the individuals when I speak with them I'm the first individual because I didn't take advice from anyone everything came from my brain activity and that brain activity led to this situation I try to promote the peaceful status in this situation i wrote the mu i wrote to the munich security conference which is in germany and i wrote to the swiss the geneva convention you know i wrote to the swiss i wrote to those individuals but they are just jealous spoiled children and probably few of them are old people who block all of that and I thought I'm here because I have to safeguard the safety of my mother. To safeguard the safety of my, uh, a lot of those individuals. Because there is a crazy, one or two crazy individuals. And uh, after my experience in Sweden, uh, I know where the European Court of Human Rights is, and uh, that was the, that has allowed me to leave uh, to leave from Sweden. And when I was living on the car, 
I told them you should give me a plane ticket to go to Geneva first. As of the atrocities that has happened and I was kept on having that fight and still mentioning everything to those individuals, basically just uh, walking away from that. Man, I tried to reach Geneva in Switzerland and there has been the obstacles coming from individuals who are working for Swedish interest and it has been like a total disaster basically. Uh, then after leaving this, after speaking, uh, after reaching out, yes, after reaching out to the Canadian embassy, to the US embassy, to the British embassy, to the Swiss embassy, I finally decided to contact the Austrian embassy and there has been like a huge amount of obstacles and the crazy people in here who write faulty reports who have a cases of dementia and if you criticize them in any way they will try to murder you meaning they will they try to murder me they try to imprison me and i have females member in my family now and there has been K there has been an attempt of sexual offense and uh, I don't know my yes my yes and everyone in my family we are four people four men and all of us are religious And we get uh, attacked by uh, certain individuals who have, who are like, when I thought they are like sheets, they are members. And there has been like this new mosque. And uh, there are those opportunistic individuals who have doing this trend of things from the past in order to steal the mosque ideological uh, to steal the most ideological identity. 